And it couldn't be better to start this edition without having uh, the uh, late president, son of uh, Gamal Abdel Nasser. We're joined today uh, with engineer Abdel Hakim Abdel Nasser. We'd like to thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you with us at Night Cruise. No, it's, it's my pleasure to have you in my home. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I'd like to know how do you feel being here at your home and now it's a museum. Whenever I come here, I feel I'm back home because, you know, this is, uh, this is my home, my childhood, everything. Especially, I'm, I'm the only one from my old brothers that I was born here, 1955. So, but yeah, as it is, as I told you, my home, back home, and it, when I'm seeing it as a museum now, it was a dream for us to happen. Because uh, even after my father passed away in 1970, uh, the law which is, uh, came out of the parliament by that time that this home should stay with us mm -hmm. till the last one of our generation. Yes. But uh, after my mother died in 1990, we decided uh, why why are you gonna wait till our us after our death, you know, and then you make it a museum? Why don't you make it now? Especially everyone, ha every one of us has his own home, and it would be easier to do it while we are alive than to do it after us. And. For that, even we uh, delivered the house back to the uh, government to make it the museum. Yes. But then it took so long, you know. But thank but God, happened. you know, we say, you know, there is a, a better late than never, you know. Yes. So. And I think it came out to be a, an amazing project. Yes, uh, it is amazing. Actually, it is really, really started in 2009. You know, and it took 19 years or 18 years to take the decision. And uh, from South, from end of uh, the decree was the end of 2008, and starting 2009, we started to have meeting with the Minister of Culture. By that time, the, uh, the, the person who was responsible for the project was uh, Dr. Saber Arab, who became Minister of Culture after that. Mm -hmm. And we gave him all the positions because we have, we have all, because when you first delivered the, room, uh, the house, everything was put there. And then when we say, found that it's not going to happen, so we took our, the things which belongs to us. There is many things belong, and yeah, most of it belongs to the government. Uh, but part of it was belongs to us, yes. like the uh, presents, the decorations, all, everything you get, we got from it. So actually we preserved these things, and uh, then we gave all these things in 2009 to the Ministry of Culture, and they started to do all the required restoration, everything to put it back in its original appearance. And of course when uh, January Revolution happened 2011 and the project stopped and it actually started again to be uh, after the revolution of June the 30th. And we thank God you know that uh, in this one year of the Brotherhood, they don't have the time to come and destroy the place or something. Because they tried, they tried, you know, to do in the mosque, you know, they want, and they want to take the things out of the mosque. And I stopped them by that time and I gave them all the things they required and we put our personal things there. And thank God that the mosque where my father buried was uh, under the, uh, uh, under the, this, this, the ma yeah, management and everything of the uh, air fo of the uh, of the military command, you know, because it's yes. adjacent to the supervision under the supervision. Yes. So and then after that, after 19, 
after June, 30th of June the revolution, uh, they start immediately again, and the, uh, the military engineering uh, department was responsible for uh, the uh, renovation of for the works the and everything. And uh, it finished, and exactly like today, last year, uh, we have the honor to have President Sisi to come by himself uh, to inaugurate it and open it for uh, Yes, very good. Well, this is a beautiful place and we all know the history of the president, his great deeds, whether for uh, the, the Pan-Arab unity, the Syrian unification, yes. helping the liberation of various Arab and uh, African nations and so many more which we'll talk about. But now, being with his son, now we need to know what the real Gamal Abdel Nasser, as a father, as a family man. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, when we, first mo when we first moved to the house, this house was finishing here. All of this section yes. here, mm -hmm. this was added to the house in 1960. Yes. Uh, because the house here, you know, was very, it was only two, three bedrooms and there was no place, for example, to have, uh, if you have uh, official uh, yes. guests like uh, presidential uh, visit or royal visit or mm -hmm. something like that, you don't have a place for, uh, mm -hmm. for, for such a gathering. So they add this part here. This here where you have the uh, auditorium here, this was uh, a big, living, big uh, living area. Mm -hmm. And this was a dining room, a dining, dining room, room for mm -hmm. the official uh, visits. But we were not, we were never, we were, we were not we were using this dining room for us as a family because our dining room maybe you saw it uh, upstairs. Mm -hmm. So this gave us a chance that this dining room was, while there was not visit, my with father was you, they were using it for you know because the only hobby he had to rest was watching films. You know they put a big screen there. Mm -hmm they have the machine and we have the cinema there. So this room, uh, for me, you know, there is a very special room, you know, because we always gather here and we sit here apart from here. Mm -hmm. And you have then, of course, the garden, you know, this was, uh, I was very young, you know, so the garden, to, when you are a kid and you have a, mm -hmm. you're living in a house with a big garden, so this is paradise, you know, so. <laughs> yes. So how was the experience with, uh, uh, with your father back then? How was the experience? That was the question. Of and actually, you know, the, uh, the weekends when we were lucky that uh, there is nothing extraordinary. So we used to, all of us together in the garden. And the, when we were young, we used to play football with us. Uh, play, uh, there is a kiosk outside, you know, maybe you saw it. This is, yes. we used to have a ping pong table. We used to play ping pong. And uh, we had a lovely time here. Yeah. And, was he and, strict and even this room, I yeah. used to have our birthdays. Was he a strict this father or, was, or did he pamper you and spoil you? Say again? Was he a strict father or did he pamper you? It was a mixture of both. He mm -hmm. was, you know, when it's need to be strict, he was strict. But to need spoiling, he, 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 was, he was a very tender father, you know, and, and very patient. Mm -hmm. You know, now when I think I was young and I was doing a lot of silly things, mm -hmm. and now he was patient. And with all the burden on his back and everything, he was really patient. And when I go back, when I make, uh, go back to flashback to this, mm -hmm. And, and even, you know, I used to do, yeah, and sometimes when I, I had, when I got married and I had children and sometimes they were doing silly things and I was starting to go out of my uh, temper, then I immediately think about him, how come, yeah, and he was, he with all his burden would be more patient than me when I consider him, I am having nothing, you know, no, 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 he was, he was very, Tender and he was very patient and 
he was very yeah, he, I don't remember even a moment that I went and he told me go I'm busy or I'm something like that. and he always you know was young and maybe he was reading something very important and at least you know he was getting his head out of what he's reading and look at me with a smile and then okay you continue this for me was more than enough i think it makes a lot of sense you know uh, this leader has uh, done a lot to the nation and the arab world and okay. i'd like to know from you a little bit about you know uh, abdul nasser was a leader that he really changed a lot in Egypt and the yes, Arab world yes. and uh, you definitely learn a group of things uh, from the, your experience uh, with him that you might like to share with us what you have really learned from uh, the late president Kamal Abdul Nasser what I learned and what I find that he was always concerned with the normal people and with the ordinary people, which is, represents the, 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 the majority of the Egyptian people. And he felt always that these people with the, uh, uh, with the victim of the greedness of the small, wealthy society of, uh, of the country, wherever this society was Egyptians or foreigners by that time and uh, he uh, and he was always you know concerned that this majority must everybody had equal opportunity in uh, education in health care in job opportunities and everything so we, yeah, we we face that and we live that you know that even you know when we went to school, we went to ordinary, you know, schools, we didn't go to any special schools, and uh, we were even, you would be sure that we treated in the school fair and square, you know, no, uh, any spoiling, nothing, you know, and uh, that's even, you know, for us, as a brother, you will find, you know, that from the educational side, we were not all about the same level, you know. So everybody were really represents his educational level. And uh, to be sure that would be normal uh, living the same life, our, uh, our friend in the school living it. So the, that was Gamal Abdel Nasser. And you don't have any uh, special Thing. The only special thing we have, we have that living in a big house uh, here, there, which is a uh, car, yeah, so, you know, which is quite is, normal for. Uh, uh, this is what the thing which is have it as a privilege to be the son of a president. Engineer Abdul well, Hakim, uh, actually, we uh, will be heading to a break and we'll still, we'll still continue with the stories uh, to learn more from you, but we'll head now uh, to our short break and returning back with more stories.
Welcome back on our cruise as we're coming to you from uh, the museum of uh, the late President Gamal Abdel Nasser as we're commemorating his memory as he passed away on the 28th of September 1970. And uh, today uh, we are pleased that we're continuing uh, our interview with his son, uh, engineer uh, Abdel Hakim Gamal Abdel Nasser. Welcome with us again. As uh, before the break, we were talking about your memories with your father. And uh, I'd like to ask you, now there were so many important decisions that your father took. And I know that you, you must have been so young, but at least maybe you, your older brothers or your mom told you, how was the atmosphere, like for instance, when there were, were major decisions, like uh, uh, the uh, nationalization of the Suez Canal, for instance, or any of the important decisions when it comes, for instance, to the unification with Syria, any of these memories where he had to really take a crucial decision. What can you share with us about him in that, uh, on that side? I remember, you know, I, I can't go as too deep in the decisions, you know, because I was there, um, but, but, but I... At I, least I, there, there must have been some kind of, uh, like, the air itself in the house as you were I thinking see, about I it. I used to see the, 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 the people, you know, the, mm -hmm. the visitors coming to... And I was too young, so I always, you know, go sneak between them. And then they, mm -hmm. suddenly he and he was sitting with the head of state or sitting with the, uh, for example, Secretary of the United Nations, especially Dag Hammarskjöld, you know, was very close mm -hmm. to him. This, they suddenly find themselves there is this young kid, you know, in the middle. <laughs> so uh, this is, you know, this is, you know, we, and we were always, you know, used to when when there is any state visit, they used to come and visit visiting him at home. And we used in the in the entrance, which is the the actual entrance of the home. This is the entrance of the museum, but this is not the entrance of of uh, of the home of the residence. You know? So we used to sit and we used to be there, uh, greeting the guest, shake hands, and he was uh, telling him who we are and our name and everything. And then they go by to conduct their uh, uh, mm -hmm. talks and everything, and we used to go up. Yes. So I believe, you know, I, I can't tell, point my finger to a special decision, but I believe, you know, while I was making, doing by that time some silly things, he was taking very important decisions. What about the memories of your mom when your mom talks to you about? Uh, your father's mental state at certain uh, times, which was the most challenging moment that you were told that that was a hard time for no, your father? I believe, I believe, and I want to tell you, she was always, my father was always concerned, her main concern of his comfort at home. Mm -hmm. She never interfered in politics. Mm -hmm. She was concerned about when he come home, he find the comfort atmosphere and the family mm -hmm. atmosphere and try try as much and you don't when he, he is coming from the burden of uh, the work and something when he come back she will not gonna ask him about the work no she was she, yeah. she, she she always concerned to get him out of the moon you know mm -hmm. uh, as much as she can mm -hmm. but of course you know one of the very early crucial moments I remember uh, during uh, 1967 mm -hmm. and uh, we remember when he left for uh, to give uh, his statement on the 9th of uh, June mm -hmm. and none of us knew you know knew what uh, was gonna go happen in this and of course, you know, every bus we got the shock, you know, because yes. of his resignation and all of this sort of stuff. And this is a moment I don't forget because by the time he get back, we start hearing the shouting of the thousands and thousands of people surrounding the house and the slogans for him to stay and they were all you know, till the morning, from night till morning and then 
we knew, you know, that uh, it was not thousands, it exceeded the number of thousands, became millions of people all over Cairo and the, our house became the center of everything. Even the people of, uh, by that time of the parliament, they couldn't come here because it was very, it was people to move from here to there. And even for a moment when I woke up, uh, we didn't sleep, but by the morning I found they, put, they were putting chairs in the garden on the same, as, uh, on the same uh, plan of the parliament that the mm. MPs, the member of parliament, should have a special session in the garden here. So they, they didn't come, they couldn't come from the masses were everywhere. So it's happened, you know, that uh, he, he wrote the letter that he is, uh, uh, and he decided to, to obey the order of the people and to stay in his position. And we, till uh, we can finish the, uh, back the, the, all the consequences of this uh, uh, war in Nigeria. So this is, you know, this is one of the uh, uh, very difficult and uh, historic moments I had in my life. Uh, in this house. If, if we go back to the museum and uh, this amazing hall uh, back here, it has a lot of nice and amazing pieces. Yes. What are the most, you know, dear to your heart pieces of those? Actually, you will find it is, you know, by that time, you know, you will find it from the nature of the decorations. You will find it all from countries that, most of them, from countries that my father ate these people for their independence. Ate these people from uh, getting rid of colonialism and imperialism and all of these sort of things. And you will find everything either connected with countries and people that they were all struggling in the same cause or from other countries which is you know our relationship we had, we had a real friendship yeah, and you will find most of the here you will find from africa from uh, uh, latin america from asia all of asia you know from uh, China, uh, Malaysia, Burma, uh, Indonesia, all of the, these Asians, and you will find from the people who are very close to us, help us. Like you will have, you will find from the uh, Yugoslavia by that time, the Soviet Union, and he is. I remember he's one from the few, few people who got the medal of the hero of the Soviet Union. You know, this is, they never gave it to a non-Soviet uh, person. And you would find from Greece, from, and this is, uh, and of course, when you go there, you will find the cross of uh, the Holy Kaaba. Yes. Yeah, this is, was uh, a gift from, uh, President, from King Faisal. You know, when uh, he made his first visit here after 1967 and after they put back all the uh, mishaps happened during before that and they started all of us working together to get rid of the Israeli aggression. And uh, other part you'll find which represent his hobby. He was his he liked photographing was his hobby yeah. and he liked to have a lot of photographs by himself even he liked to have a movie photograph and even he used when he had and if he had a chance to have time he used to make montage you know do the montage by himself for the films you know he get the small ones and he put them in a big reel by that time wow that's <laughs> wow, that's, that's a really good story so this is uh, concerning uh, things you see here Upstairs also there are a variety of rooms and there are so many beautiful rooms upstairs. A couple of them are still intact, like there's a beautiful living area. Yes, this is this. Yes. This was the family living area. Yes. 
Here, of course, there was a TV, and this is we used to sit around the TV. And this was the family, which especially uh, it's uh, and you find the dining room upstairs. This is we used to have uh, our lunch, and this is actually the lunch was the real gathering time of the whole family. And he was always making the lunch, the time of the lunch. Uh, the dinner at that time, the main dinner, was the time when we uh, get back from school. Mm -hmm. So all of us will sit together and uh, having the lunch together. And, uh, and then the sitting area. And then you see his room by inside his bedroom. And we used to go many times, sit there, you know. Because... So I want to tell you something. I, and I never, I don't have in the back of my memory a moment that my father was sitting like that doing nothing. And I always, he, were, he was working. And even you go to his bedroom, you will find him reading. Reading uh, what's going on, uh, reports, uh, reading the, he used to get the, there was a special department in the secretary, which is outside, was gathering all the letters coming from uh, the people. There were thousands, thousands of letters, and they used to have these letters to uh, to be briefed. And uh, he used to uh, uh, to read all the headlines of the letters, and for many times. Yeah, and whenever they get it, for example, the headlines of 500 letters or something like that, he should get and he should never ask at least 10, 20, 50 from this letter to get the originals, to read it specifically and see what the people want, what they think. If somebody somebody has a problem. the original letters. Yes, yes, yes. And actually, I am very astonished because in the last years, in 47 years, I can't tell you the number of people I met that they told me that we have a problem by that, for them and, and we have nothing to do, and we just wrote a letter to President Gamal Abdel Nasser by hand, and we put a stamp, and we threw it in, uh, in the post, and then they find somebody calling them, solving the problem. And really, I can't, maybe in the last 40 years, I met hundreds or not thousands of people told me that we send a letter and we got an answer. We send the problem and we got so. We, actually, and when I think of it, I get really astonished that how, because by that time, uh, uh, they don't have the technology we have. Exactly. Uh, yeah, there was uh, no, uh, they don't the have the, 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 nothing, you know, it was, was ordinary, but actually, uh, this was uh, a great uh, gift from, and uh, he was gifted to, to, to use these letters, and even, you know, uh, even the letters who are against him, who are the hard words against him, used to read them all, to know what's really going on. Yes, and I think this attention to details and to the people really uh, made him this great leader to an, a symbol and a model for everyone. So, as I, I never, so he was always working. He would go to his room, he was working, uh, reading, uh, picking uh, and the phone was, outside yeah, the only place he was not he was relaxing if he had a chance to come to this room while there's nothing and he saw a film and he come and sit to see a film or something now, now before the interview and uh, the, the first part of it you told me that and uh, Sharif that actually you tried, uh, your father and your mother tried as much as possible to make you live a normal life like an average Egyptian. Yes. But 
still, I, I still think that still when you walk on, walk down the streets or even at school, definitely your, uh, your colleagues, your teachers, the, the love and amazement that you are the, the children of Gamal Abdel Nasser, how were you, met? like was that there that sense like uh, the, that they were inquisitive at wanting to know what t takes place at home or at least trying to be friends with you so that because you're no, the son of a leader who's something. loved and that's different because if you're the son of a leader it's different than if you're you're the son of an icon at the time no let me tell you something as as a children and as the people yeah. were in the class you know children yeah. is children yeah so we were really you know we were really treated uh, and their homes did not reflect on you nothing you know we yeah. were, and we used to fight and uh, we used to nice everything was normal everything like like a yeah. normal life what about the, the teachers and the teachers you know the teachers actually i knew after that that uh, there was somebody come from go from my father uh, mm -hmm. from the personal secretary or his personal secretary mm -hmm. and he used to go and meet the headmaster and the children and give them uh, like uh, uh, yani give them uh, something Perfect. that it would be yani, that the president sending a message he don't want his children has any different or any advantage mm. if, if this happened he will not be happy you know mm. so I believe you know this is would reflect opposite to us you know if there is <laughs> yes, no, they, they were this. afraid. They were afraid. They were open, you know. Sometimes they were afraid to give us the, our normal rights. Otherwise, it would be understood that uh, they give us. <laughs> so you got normal punishment and criticism. Everything, everything. And I want to tell you something. That's really helped a lot. That you know when you. You know, when my father died, died when I was in the, in the last year of the secondary school, you know. And after that, and I got managed to go to the faculty of engineering. So actually, if the faculty of engineering of that time was not representing my actual educational level, I would never graduate because actually, I, yeah, I, I, this five years I stayed in the, uh, in the faculty of engineering, well, all this privilege was gone. You know, my father is not a president anymore. And even the last two, three years, maybe starting from, I graduated 76, from 74, even by that time, even there was uh, uh, some uh, things, yeah, you know, people, try to against the uh, my father policies my father this sort of thing. so actually if my this I was not really on the standard to go to the faculty of engineering I would never get bigger I would never graduate from the faculty of engineering well, actually, we have still to talk more about uh, the great leader, Gamal Abdel Nasser, and this beautiful museum and to share more of your memories. Thank but you. we'll be going to a quick break, but we'll be back for more. We're going to do a report first and see it, and then we'll be back for more and continuing our interview.